Hey YouTube, hey it's me the coding noob again. I am tired. <laughs> I'm tired, but um, I have a very exciting tutorial that I think is exciting. So I've been just eager to get home and make it. Um, the whole you know the kids are already asleep. Looks like the wife is already upstairs sleeping. So mm, I have the downstairs all to myself. Um. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make variables, advanced variables, and, it's, and some uh, key code and tricks you can do to keep yourself organized and lay things out, categorize them, uh, put space between them, tooltip, kind of like what you see going on over here. Now the viewport rect, the space between the viewport and the depth uh, this space, oops, this space is caused by probably the the second uh, layer here of the uh, the width and the height. But if this was just a simple like integer or string or something, and then the depth depth was just uh, another simple integer string, normally they would be much closer up, kind of like these are. But you can actually customize that as well. The space between that, you can have a tooltip as soon as you mouse over it some text pops up um, and why I ca why I'm gonna title this video like advanced uh, variables or stuff like that is you can also make like drop-down menus and, and the color pickers like those are all there for you in unity but believe it or not not a lot of people know which is why I wanted to make this video today so let's get started what I have here and just so you know it's a simple, I just made a 2D project, titled it, titled it YouTube Toots. There's a camera, and uh, I think there's a light. There's not even a light. There is nothing in here but just a camera, okay? Just a 2D scene with a camera. So I haven't done anything. You haven't missed anything, all right? So let's go ahead and create our, our first script. We're going to call this... Um, demo, okay. and this opens up in uh, Visual Studio. Now, if you are using Mono Develop, I do recommend Visual Studio. I'm about to show you why. So I'm just gonna drag this onto the camera so we can start seeing that advanced stuff come together as we code. Um, here's why. You can't do this in Visual Studio um, in Mono Develop. That's why I love Visual Studio. Yeah, unenable. Boom! I just hit Tab and it completes it for me. Like maybe I forget how to spell stuff and I want to do my on trigger enter um, script. There it is. Just double click it. Boom! Creates it for you. Puts the parameters in for you. This is just amazing. And that's that's this is one of the reasons I, I love using Visual Studio. Trust me, you're not missed, you're not losing anything. So, and it's free. It gives you more functionality than the Mono Develop would. So I do highly recommend that. Anyways, let me stop jabber on and get to it. Um, first thing I'm gonna teach you is how to like set categories and um, tool tips and customizing the spacing and all, all that stuff. So let's get to that. Let's create some variables, some random stuff. So um, let's do a let's do a public and a game object, and we'll call this object one, right? Yeah, I'll duplicate that. Call this object two. Why not duplicate that? Call this object three. Let's make a public uh, integer. Call this number one, right? Um, same deal. And oops. And then uh, three. And for uh, for the same example, cancel public. Let's do a uh, string. one words two and words three now if 
these things are all doing different things, right? I would like to, you know, kind of organize them. So I personally, I would leave a comment here that says, you know, these are my objects for stuff, you know? Whatever the case may be. Um, probably do the same here. These are my uh, ints or whatever. And then I'll probably do the same for whatever. And I can save that, go back to my Unity. And here they are. But they're so cluttered the comments don't show up here so it's you know what i'm saying it's uh, it's not what i want so here's some of the advanced stuff that i can show you and how to do right um first thing is you can create uh these like titles or categories for them and using your square bracer so open uh, square bracers open and close if you type heather she also call, uh, auto completes um, parentheses and then your Heather so objects no game object for uh, scene can't spell scene scene creation right so let's say I'm dragging in whatever objects, you know, to put my scene creation in there. And then, let's say that these are my uh, rotation values for player. Just, you know, making stuff up at this point. And then these would be my uh, Yeah, UI, uh, yeah, UI string for keeping scores. Okay. Save that. Let's head back to Unity. I'll compile my, s my uh, s uh, script. And voila. So now you have this kind of like title category thing going on, which is pretty it's looking better to me than what I had before this I can work with I won't be pulling my hair out so you know when I'm dragging my objects that I'm using that I'm going to reference I can drop them in there without like mistaking anything and just you know it's clean I like it when it's clean now um, how about a tooltip let's do a tooltip or yeah let's do a tooltip so a tooltip is uh, very similar it's usually um, you start with that open and close um, bracers, okay? And then the keyword. So in this case, um, if you look right now, there's tons of functionality already here. But I'm going to go for uh, tooltip. And like before, um, you do your parentheses, open and close parentheses, and then my tooltip. Uh, hello objects right I'm not I'm not gonna do it for all of them you, you got you get the picture so um, I just hit the save all button here or control s on my keyboard go back to the unity now nothing changed you don't see anything change right nothing looks like it changed but watch this when I hover over the first object let me go back. Whoops, I had to go back into Unity. I had clicked over here. Boom. Hello, object. Now, if I hover over this one down here, object two, three, notice that nothing happened. So I just wanted to kind of point that out that the tooltip takes the very next, um, the very next uh, variable. So I can call this hello, object one. And then I'll just have to put this there for uh, two. If that makes sense to you. And then this would be kind of like for uh, three. And you can always just 
get all the space right save and back to unity okay now hover over object one it's a hello object one hover over two hover over three and a tooltip is there and it looks great it looks great it feels great it's less of a headache again like this video is not like is not such a big important kind of thing but for guys that are nitpicky <laughs> for people that are or very picky with your code like you want things to be um, neat and, and nice like myself for example even the, the start function I gotta have my <laughs> I gotta have my brackets um, my curly uh, brackets down there I can't deal with them being kind of like one down one up I have to do that right but that's just me and I kind of want to share this with you guys um, next thing I want to show you it would be the space and then we'll go into how to create like um, drop down menus and some more advanced stuff right so uh, with the space as you can guess uh, let's say we want this to be further um, the numbers to be uh, spaced out from the uh, objects at the top y as you can guess it's gonna start with the open and close brackets and the keyword um, space is there a space takes an integer so when you do your um, your uh, parentheses just drop a number in there so like 50 you know that might be a little too much but I want to kind of over exaggerate it so you can see the effect so with 50 right above here we should get a space between this and that and bam once Unity uh, compiled the script, it would see that space. Okay. So next, um, let's do a drop down menu. All right. So um, before I show you how to do the drop down enum thing, I kind of want to show you how to do a a text field. So kind of like um, kind of like this, but bigger. You know, with maybe a tooltip or something in there. Okay. So since I already have the word. Uh, three words three I'll just use that because all you need is any um, string really and this is another um, not a not one of these uh, little syntax here that begins with the square brackets um, the keyword is actually text area put that in there and then for kicks let's get a uh, get a tooltip as well show you how this can work hand in hand right so in here I can say um, Um, please enter your um, info. Sure. Please enter your info. I'm gonna save that or Control S on my keyboard to save. And let's go back to Unity and see what happens here. Okay. So mouse in here and you see tooltip, tooltip. There we go. Please enter your info. And so we get a nice big. You know, I can hit, I hit enter and next line, next line, next line. And it even comes with a little um, scroll up and down here on the side. That's some advanced um, variables for you right there. So anyways, let's get into that enum, okay? Now, for the enum, uh, what you need is, uh, I believe, it's, yeah, public, obviously. Public, um, the word is enum then the name of your um, enum. I'm going to call mine direction. Yeah, directions. And now, um, unlike the other variables, um, this one will take a curly uh, bracket and uh, I'll put left. Notice that there's no quotes here. Sorry about that left right up down right and uh, I said I was actually gonna do a drop down and make it a color the color as you know <laughs> maybe you don't a lot of people apparently didn't <laughs> you can actually create variables for um, color you can create a variable for all the data types in Unity. It's just that simple to say. 
just like you can for the rigid body, just like you can for um, colliders. So why not? Um, they called it color picker. And the video's been going for a little bit over the time now. So I'm going to wrap this up. Control S to save or click the double. Um, looks like little diskettes from back in the day. Floppy disk. Unity compiles. And boom. So, whoop, one other thing I missed with the enum. The, the drop down list is not there. However, color picker is there. So now my color picker shows up. Let's make it blue. Blue because our drop down is not uh, there. Now the drop down takes a little bit more to um, be ready. So I created the variable here. So one other thing I need to do is simply make another. Um, to be honest, I could make this private and then this public I think will work. Um, public and then the direction. So direction becomes the data type in a sense, <laughs> right? And then this will actually be the name at this point. So um, sorry about that. So I could, I guess, essentially, what? Don't do that to me. Direction. I could essentially just call it directions again, maybe with an underscore. Would you take? Yes. Underscore directions. Or make that one with a capital D. A big D. Psh. Right? So we can make this private. Right? So what you're doing here, oh, you can't make it private? Wow. I thought we could. So what you're doing here in line 34 is creating the drop down, like putting what needs to go in it, and then actually making it public. So this could be private if you didn't want it to show and then use it some sort of script to automatically pick from it so anyways let's go ahead and save so right before um, right above color we should have a drop down with left right up and down unity compiles boom there's our direction with the left right and up and down drop down all right so just a quick recap guys we created this quick demo that shows us how to make um, like titles for our variables, making uh, tool tips for our variables, manipulating the space between our variables, as you can see right here, and then creating like advanced text where you have a full block, you can type the full story or novel in there and then do whatever you need to do with that, creating drop downs. And of course, just overall showing that you can make a variable out of any data type in Unity 3D. With that, I'd like to wrap up this tutorial. If you want to continue to see more like this, hit the subscribe button. And also remember, being a subscriber gives you the power to demand any video content you want. <laughs> and I'll make that video for you as soon as I can. Alright guys, have a good one.